so hi everyone today we will try to understand what is knowledge distillation uh, in data science and artificial intelligence so basically at times uh, like you must have heard of models like BERT, GPT etc uh, that are used for generating embeddings and a lot of other stuff now a big problem with these models is that they are very very big like uh, like in GBs uh, so eventually uh, down uh, in deploying such models is very difficult in production so there is a concept of knowledge distillation uh, that has come in God, which is mostly for model compression so eventually what we are trying to do here is that whatever a big network has learned for example GPT or BERT we are trying to uh, transfer that knowledge into a small network called as a student network so our bigger network uh, which has learned everything becomes our teacher network and eventually a small network uh, which is not that big as big as uh, the teacher network becomes a student network and we are trying to transfer the knowledge from teacher network to student network so let's understand with an example so assume that this is a teacher network I completed writing my dash so it's a sequence predictions basically a task where neural network can be taken as a BERT model assume it to be a BERT model we apply a softmax and eventually we get this key okay homework appears to be the most suitable input uh, most suitable uh, output token given the input is I completed writing my dash right now if you look uh, very closely into the image uh, you can see that though homework is the most apt token uh, you can see that uh, the second most apt token is book so uh, the probability of a book is much greater than that of a car or cake so if you understood so the model is able to make out that uh, uh, book because is also preferred uh, is more preferred token as compared to car and cake so there is some sort of a dark knowledge which is called as a dark, the concept of dark knowledge i will tell you some secondary knowledge that is present in the model that okay homework is the most apt token but uh, when uh, given the other possible tokens so here also you can distinguish right okay if homework was not there then book was the most apt token so eventually the model is able to classify between all the tokens and not just one this is called as dark knowledge dark knowledge means that the to uh, like uh, there is some secondary information that is present in the network and that it is able to learn Ki, okay even if the tokens are not related uh, it is able to make sense key okay whether the token is related or not right this dark knowledge so during uh, knowledge distillation we are trying to transfer this dark knowledge this information uh, to the student network so, uh, so let's understand uh, like how to transfer this dark knowledge so there is a concept of a softmax temperature that we need to first know so I think if you have been in the field of data science and AI you must have heard of the, uh, of the function softmax so doesn't need any introduction so basically it is it is helpful in multi classification problems uh, where we need to get uh, probabilities for each of the possible class so basically we uh, in a softmax function we give it is a, uh, we give it uh, an input array and all the values gets normalized by normalization we mean that when we add up all the values after applying a softmax function they add up to one now in case of softmax temperature you can see that uh, like in case of softmax function the formula is exponential z upon exponential uh, z a uh, summation of exponential z so basically if, uh, if we are calculating uh, the value for a particular index i uh, it would be exponential of z i upon uh, summation of exponential of zj zj means like so the summation gives out key we are summating all the values the exponentials of all the values in the array now in case of softmax temperature what we are doing is that we are doing nothing we are using a constant called as temperature which can take values like 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever you wish to do uh, and instead of calculating the exponential for zi we are calculating the exponential of zi upon t uh, in both numerator and denominator so what does this uh, softmax temperature is helping us it is helping us smoothing out the distribution of the probabilities that we are getting so uh, assume that this is the first distribution that we are getting uh, 0 0.997 cake is 0 book is 0 0 2 assignment 0 0 1 and car is 0 0 0 so uh, even looking at this uh, particular values uh, assume it to be a output for a particular like for a multi classification problem right now here you can see that the probability for book uh, is higher than that of cake that means that the model is able to know that key okay book is more preferred than cake but uh, as you can see that difference is very less so there is no information present so by using softmax temperature what we are trying to do is that we are trying to 
a smooth this con complete distribution that we are getting so if you use a temperature equals to 2 you can see the values are coming like the the difference is becoming more significant and as when you are using a temperature equals to 5 the difference is pretty significant between book and cake so this uh, significant if the difference between these tokens is significant the knowledge transfer becomes very easy that uh, knowledge of dark tra uh, the transfer of dark knowledge because uh, now the model is able to uh, distinguish ki okay these are uh, these tokens are um, like significantly distinct right now assume uh, now talking about the student network so uh, the student network would be pretty similar to uh, the teacher network only but uh, a bit shallow in terms of size when comparing with the parent uh, with the teacher network so what actually we are doing we are making a big model learn everything and then we are trying to share its knowledge the dark knowledge i told you to the student network now the student network is very very less in size as compared to the uh, teacher network so there are a couple of concepts that we need to know soft target soft prediction hard target and hard predictions so a uh, soft target is basically uh, what we are doing like how we are making the student learn from the teacher so assume uh, take this picture this uh, like the picture is pretty self explanatory uh, i completed writing my dash uh, we fed it to the neural network neural network is a teacher network that we are talking about we are using a softmax temperature function at equals to 5 and we get our predictions similarly we are feeding the same uh, same text uh, to the student network as well keeping the same softmax temperature and we are getting some predictions here now the predictions uh, that we are getting after applying the softmax temperature using the teacher network is called a soft target and uh, the predictions that we are getting uh, from the student network after applying softmax temperature is a soft prediction I think this is pretty clear. Now, a couple of more uh, concepts. Hard target. So, hard target is basically when you are using the soft target by the um, teacher model to convert into 0 and 1s. Basically, we wish to get a prediction, final prediction and not probabilities. So, basically, whatever we do, like in case uh, when we deploy some real world model, what we are doing is key, we get the probabilities and we try to round off the probabilities and get key which particular category has the highest probability and we do uh, this is how we are creating a uh, 1001 vector for multi classification similarly in case of teacher network we would be doing the same thing huh. so using the soft targets that we have calculated by the teacher network we are trying to predict uh, what should be the class for the particular uh, what should be the token for the particular input and eventually we are going with 011 concept hard prediction is when uh, in case of student network what we are doing is that uh, we are making another set of predictions that is keeping the temperature equals to 1 that means we are not using softmax temperature now we would be using just softmax and we will get our another set of predictions now this would be called as hard predictions now there will be two loss functions that we will be optimizing one is between soft target and soft prediction that would be called as a distillation loss and one would be uh, between hard prediction and hard target that would be called as student loss so this is how the whole knowledge distillation process happens and this is how we would be training so in distillation loss we are using soft target and soft prediction that means uh, the predictions done by the uh, teacher and uh, student network uh, using the softmax temperature function and in case of hard predictions and hard target the hard target is uh, getting derived from soft target so that's not an issue but the hard prediction that we are getting from the student network is uh, by replacing softmax temperature by just the softmax function uh, they would the t would be equal to 1 and in this way we would be getting two loss functions distillation loss and student loss and we would be optimizing on these losses